The ghost has returned, the Iron Man ghost. It's been probably about a month and a half since the last episode, and I'm sure a few of you guys are wondering uh, where I have been, or probably you just don't really care. I don't know, one or the other, but anyways, uh, I have been pretty busy. If you guys watch my other series, I was on vacation for a couple of weeks, and then I got back and had to deal with some personal things in real life, so been pretty occupied, so the gains were not coming in as fast as I uh, was hope, hoping for them to be, but so I do apologize for that. But I'm also doing other content on my YouTube channel as well, if you guys are keeping up with that. So make sure you guys are staying tuned for those. Uh, but anyways, since the last time you guys saw me, we were uh, finishing the last episode on some Winter Tot, and I did stay here for quite a few more games, only about five, but uh, they are solo games, so it's going to be a nice, decent amount of loot that I will be showing you guys here in a little bit. But we also got a few levels, not too crazy. We did manage to get up to 81 fire making uh, from the low 70s, I believe. So we did get up a couple of levels, probably about 10 fire making levels. And we also managed to get 80 wood cutting here as well, which was pretty nice. And all the way up to 54 construction. So we got a decent amount of levels, nothing too crazy. But the loot I will be showing you guys here right now. And it's uh, pretty good if I recall. So I'll be going through the five crates that I received while doing this just to show you guys kind of the basic general idea of what we managed to obtain. I don't think we got anything too crazy from these crates, just a bunch of seeds and some cash and a bunch of other random stuff. The main goal that I was trying to actually achieve while doing this was getting some herb seeds because we are on that herb lore grind, as you may know. So getting 258 herb lore is quite the challenge. And the farming contracts just were not doing it for me as far as speed goes when it comes to obtaining seeds. So that's what I was hoping to achieve through Winter Tot. We did manage to get uh, quite a few seeds, but nothing too crazy. Alright, hopefully this works. I managed to scrape together enough herbs just to get two herb levels. But uh, we did manage to get to level 54, which now hopefully we can use the pie that increases your herb or boost your herb lore up and uh, it'll boost it up to level 58 and hopefully we can get a hold of that uh, herb sack with the pie boost I'm not too sure this is gonna work fingers crossed let's go find out fingers crossed let's go ahead and boost our herb lore up and hopefully this works oh no it's red yeah okay well I really wasn't expecting that to work to be honest with you but at least I could say I tried to attempt I had to try. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll have to do without the sack for now. I guess it's not too crazy of a need right now. It's not something I need at this moment, so I guess I'll survive. The final level of herbivore until we get that herb sack. Uh, it's definitely no fun without the herb sack. And I definitely, d I mean, it's not bad, but, you know, knowing that I could get it, I just, I really want it. But there is level 83 Hunter which we can finally now hunt dragon implings and hopefully obtain that glory amulet that we've been waiting for so long. I am done here, though. I'm not coming back to Herbivore until we get that herb sack. And, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go find some dragon implings. All right, so I had this genie lamp and a bunch of fossils in the bank, so we're going to throw this all onto Slayer real quick and hopefully get a couple of levels. Uh, started at level 41, this should give us at least two levels. Hopefully. There's level 42. Hopefully one more level. I think this one's a pretty big lamp right here. 3,500 Slayer and 43 Slayer right there. 43 Slayer, guys. Not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely could grind out the rest of the fossils, but I really can't be asked to do that at the moment. Been here for a couple of levels now. Needed something AFK to do. Uh, for a little bit, but there is level 72 mining, which gives us access to the upper level of Motherload Mine, which is going to help us out a lot uh, when doing Motherload Mine, just because this bottom floor is just, it's so annoying with these rock falls and stuff. But uh, while I'm here, I am asking the clan chat to watch out for some dragon implings for me. So if you guys see me online, uh, just shoot me a PM if you find one. The dragon impling hunt is going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, there's only one specific item that I am in search of. There are a few other items that are pretty useful to the account, but the main one being an Amulet of Glory. Now, this is a 1 in 19 chance of receiving this when catching a Dragon Impling. 
Um, and there's also a variant of just a normal Dragonstone amulet, which you can obtain, which is also a 1 in 19th chance. However, uh, the Dragonstone amulet, there's no way for a level 3 Iron Man to enchant that, so it's pretty much useless. I definitely need the Amulet of Glory. Now, this does give zero charges. However, I am allowed to mount this on the wall of my POH because the Amulet of Glory mounted on the wall does not require any charges. You just need to have the glory. So we can do that. We just have to go to the personal house every single time that we need to utilize it, which, depending on when your house is located, isn't that big of an issue. Now, there are four main locations that I'll be hunting these Implings at. The first location, and probably the most frequent one that I'll be going to, is just northeast of the South Bank on Fossil Island. The Dragon Implings spawn pretty occasionally here, so this is probably the main one that I'll be keeping an eye on. These are only the main areas that I'll be searching for, uh, the next one being just east of the Ranging Guild and west of the Arty Farming Patch. This one's not too frequent, however, occasionally you do find Implings floating around here. And another high area one is just south of the Fire Altar as well as the Dueling Arena. This one's pretty frequent like I mentioned before already. However, this one can be snatched up pretty quickly as there's a lot of traffic for players that can easily steal them from you. And then finally is the Tree Gnome Stronghold. Now this one is a little tough because it's very difficult as a level 3 Iron Man to actually get here pretty quickly, so I have had a couple of people snatch a few Dragon Implings from me because I did not make it in time. However, I'm still keeping an eye on this and hopefully can get a couple from this area. Managed to snatch our first Dragon Impling on the account. I actually found this one myself. I was world hopping over here uh, just because I was eager to get it, but let's go ahead and see what's inside our first Dragon Impling. Uh, what? <laughs> Seriously? More Snapdragon Seeds? Dude, how many do I have now? I have 23 in the bank, and I just got another 6 Snapdragon Seeds. I don't know what this... <laughs> this account is cursed with Snapdragon Seeds. I mean, I'm not complaining because that's pretty valuable, and I can always drop trade those later, but honestly, I think I'm going to attempt to collect some Red Spider Eggs, so I don't know. That's pretty ridiculous, though. Not what we were looking for. Impling number 2. I'm trying to get all these on recording without losing them to somebody else, but uh, there is a Dragon Longsword, I guess. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. Let's see how much it's worth. It says 60 k so we could probably sell for a decent amount of cash at one of the general stores. Not too bad. Okay, so I got a Magpie Impling because... And it gave me a Snapdragon Seed. All right, well, I'm hunting these for an Amulet of Power because I guess it's required for a medium clue step so I might as well get those out of the way while I can. So I actually had to continue mining down here before I could get up to the upper level because even though I had the level requirement I did not have the golden nuggets uh, so I did manage to get to halfway through 73 before I finally got 100 nuggets but uh, now we can unlock the restricted area up top and finally get a little bit faster experience and it just makes motherload mine a little bit more enjoyable so We'll be up here for a little bit. I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. I'm just kind of staying here for AFK reasons, but who knows? We'll see. This seems like a good level to stop at for now. I do eventually want to get this to level 80, but for now, I am just going to take a little break from mining here at the Mother Load Mine. Yet another level 75 on the account. 75 farming. That's a pretty good one, not going to lie. I do... Oh, I can grow magic trees. That's pretty nice. I do need to <laughs> grind out tithe farm again to try to level up farming a little bit faster but i really can't be asked to just chilling here doing some afk fletching level 65 uh I'm just cutting all the willows that i have in the bank i don't think i have too much more uh, but now i can do some u short bows so i might end up using my u logs however i do need those for birdhouses so i don't know we'll see what happens but for now we got 65 fletching all right so i decided to give a try at the Piro Piro to actually find some Dragon Emblems because I was not getting lucky anywhere else. I was world hopping for hours and just could not find a Dragon Impling. And I know you get strength experience here, but I, I wasn't sure how frequent it was, so I just wanted to see if I could manage to get a hold of any Dragon Implings. And <laughs> I actually had to record over this. Right now, I'm recording over this with audio because... This was really irritating me, and I was getting extremely 
pissed off because there was a lot of other players here that would steal your dragon implings. And of course, my luck, I was attempting to steal these and it would just, it would fail every single time. And before I could get to it while it was flying over these mazes, somebody else would steal it. And I was getting extremely frustrated. And my audio, my original audio was so cringing because I was just screaming at the game because I could not catch any of these dragon implings and everybody just kept stealing them from me. And my wife yelled at me because I was I was uh, screaming a little too loud. So uh, I definitely had to record over this. I'm sure some of you might have found it amusing, but uh, I, I just couldn't put it in the video. But yeah, I... I definitely am not coming back here again because it's it's too difficult to try to compete with all the players here at Piro Piro. But I did, however, manage to catch a couple of magpies, and one of them did, however, give me the Amulet of Power. So I no longer need to catch these, however. I mean, if I encounter them, I might as well. There's, there's really nothing else I need from them, but uh, the Amulet Power is done nonetheless, so I can actually use those on a medium clue step whenever that... Uh, becomes a thing so yep still on the search for dragon implings however let's keep it going ran over back to the Arceus library because I'm trying to do this in small increments so I don't have to wear myself out all at once while uh, doing this because this is pretty slow experience per hour uh, but this should be a rune crafting level here after this last book there it is level 40 rune crafting so that's Base 40s, I believe, on all my skills, but that's a pretty nice one. We're going to stay here for a little bit longer. I don't know how long I'm going to stay here, but for now, let's keep it going. Ran all the way to the Gnome Stronghold. Got ourselves another Dragon Impling. I saw it on my other account. And we get six more Snapdragon Seeds. Of course we do. What would I do without all of these Snapdragon Seeds? I don't know. And just like that, another five Rune Crafting levels. Level 45. Not too bad. I mean, it's pretty relaxing, but at the same time, pretty annoying. I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's no other option, so I guess I gotta deal with it. I somehow found the motivation to come back to Tithe Farm. Managed to get 76 farming. And uh, let me tell you, after doing 100 points of this, I definitely already lost the motivation to continue. So, that's that, yeah. Missed the level, but that was level 55 Herb Lore. Nothing important unlocked, but it's just a nice, clean level 55. And unfortunately, I don't have any more herbs to uh, get to 58, but we are slowly getting there. Not too far off, but for now, this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. If you stuck around this long, thank you very much. You guys are honestly uh, the true fans of the account, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, but we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.